Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to Breath of Life Prayer and Intercessory Ministry. Ministries Incorporated, you know, we're all the way in Africa also. I have a word for you today and I don't know who this word is for. I'm telling you, the more I begin to put myself in the hands of God, the more he begin to reveal to me some serious stuff. And the way God reveals things to me is through my dreams and through vision. And this one was seen so clearly. He made it clear as ever. Okay, I don't know who this is for, but if this resonated with you, prepare your heart for someone that's getting ready to come in after all these years of you waiting after all these years of the devil uh, telling you that you can make it you won't make it you won't ever find somebody to love you well i come as a prophet and a pastor of the lord jesus christ of nazareth to tell you that the devil is a liar because you i don't know who you are it might be a she it might be a he is getting ready to be wedded you are getting ready to meet your bride groom you are getting ready to meet your bride so says the lord now let me give you all of the details of what i saw in my dream and it was so amazing because i was extremely happy and i happened to see the fears of my sister glenda kennedy whom i haven't talked to in a while really but the lord showed me her huh, so excited how excited she was when we both connected. God had to connect us in the realm of the spirit. And then when he finally brought us together as sisters, it was something I'm talking about in this day now. And she, when we were so close, the relationship with her, me and, and her, as in my dream, was impeccable. Because I have not spoken to this young lady in years. Why? Because for some reason she just didn't want to speak. I don't understand why family members do the things that they do. But I still love them and I still pray for them. And this was one sister that I prayed for a lot. I pray for my sister a lot because I know me and her been through similar situations and similar attacks from the enemy. Yeah. And, but in the dream, in the dream, y'all, my sister also, from, but from connecting to me, connected with her mother. And it was a ball of fire. I mean, the house was filled with like power. Powerful words were spoken. I mean, we were like almost like speaking in tongues to each other, not, not even realizing it. This was in a dream. And I, I could see everything clear as day. And then the moment came. I said, Glennon, you are getting ready to get married. The voice spoke to me and I spoke it to her. I said, you are getting ready to get married. This is your year, your season, and your time. This is the time that you waited for all year round, all the days of your life. You never told nobody would fall in love with you. You thought something was done to you. Nothing was done to you, sister. Let me tell you, what was done to you had to turn back. It was a reverse. So you... I don't know who it is for. I know it's for my sister, number one, and I also know it for somebody else. Glenda Kennedy and whoever else this word will be connected to. You are in the process of transitioning to your next dimension. I'm telling you. It was such a happy moment for me. Um, my sister and I was in the, in the car and uh, our mother came to us, Mrs. Kennedy came to us, and she said, uh, she said, oh, my darling children, this is the color I'm getting. And the moment she said the color, I said, it's a burgundy and kind of like peach. You know, I mean, burgundy and kind of like creamy white. It's very beautiful, it's shiny. She said, yeah, this is it right here in my hands. And I said, Holy Ghost, you are so, you are, you, he, the spirit of the Lord is so powerful, even while you are in a dream. And I said, woohoo, I can't wait to wear this one. I'm going to celebrate in this one. Then the Lord spoke to me, but you are next also. And I said to myself, oh, Lord, okay. So let me tell you something that the Lord is telling me to tell every one of you, men, ladies, men, 
uh, Christian men, Christian ladies, lovers of God, people that have connected to the things of God. You have suffered this song. You have walked this walk. You have fought this fight. And God said, now nah, it's your time for release to your husband or to your wife or something of that nature. Now is the time that God is, has positioned you for marriage. This is now time for your kingdom marriage. Uh, I hear a lot of, uh, of YouTubers talking about kingdom marriage, but I can, if, when God showed this to me in my dream and I can see it pure as gold, I know for sure, for sure, for sure, this is that a time now that God has handpicked the ones that he knew that is following him and he has handpicked them. He has purged them up. He has cleaned their hearts and now they are ready to make up with the ones God has for them. This is called prophetic divine connections with your kingdom husbands or wives. This is prophetic divine husband. This, <laughs> You know, I don't know how others people see when they when it they, they are seers, and I happen just to be a seer more than a prophet, but a seer. And because I see so much things in my dream, and everything that I see in my dream, I, I, I it never goes. Uh, 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 the opposite it always come out the same, and I know that's the hands of God. I know that's Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You know, and so God is telling me to tell you all people. This is time for your prophetic divine kingdom marriages, kingdom connections. Those of you that have started ministry, those of us that God has given us the ministry, God is connecting us with people, just not only in marriage, but he's connecting us with people that are going to be sent to help us. They are called divine helpers. Help us to run God's church. Help us to run God's ministry. Help us to put things together in the hands of God. Help us to open our ears, our eyes, our everything on us to be alert and vigilant. This is a very short one. And so for those of you that feels in your spirit, this word is for me. It resonates with my heart. God has been speaking to me about such a thing. He's getting ready to do it in marriages. He's getting ready to do it in the church. He's getting ready to do it for people that are kingdom minded. He's getting ready to do it for world changers. He's getting ready to do it for those that have suffered and walked the walk with him. He's getting ready to do it for you. So if you know this resonates with your heart, make sure that you go back to the throne of grace and tell the Father, thank you. Thank you for showing this to, uh, 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 to your daughter. Thank you, I'm just his servant, a child of the most high God, I love him. This one, I saw with my own two eyes, clear as day, specifically for kingdom marriages, Kingdom connections, kingdom when when uh, and God is bringing people together along with you that will help you cultivate the people in the kingdom of God. It will help you to, to make sure that you are presenting these people and allowing them to hear what that says the Lord to understand the scripture by precept, precept by precept, excuse me, precept by precept, break it down so that the Holy Spirit can allow them to understand exactly what it is that the Lord is getting ready to breath within them. It's time to breath your husband. It's time to transition to your next level. It's time that God is sending you divine helpers in order to help you to go where you have to go in the Lord. May God bless all of you. Again, this is Pastor Life in Providence, Rhode Island. You guys know who I am. I am not, <laughs> you should know me by now, I'm not just one of those that just come on and, and, and send a, in a prophecy. I'm a seer. I can see things. And, and, and I think God added the prophecy, prophecy, prophecy thing to it because he knows when I see it, I will speak it out just as he wants me to say. Good or bad, it'll come out. But this one, I'm telling you, a prophetic kingdom divine connections that's what it is marriages those that are in ministry those that are that that that, that, that are suffering in ministry god is sending you divine helpers help us divine help us to pull your hands up like moses like aaron pull moses hand up he's telling you divine helpers in the name of jesus i bless god for all of you and thank you for listening to this listen if it's not for you don't worry there's no need to cry or boo boo that just not for you it's just not the right timing for you but if this is your right timing god's 
specifically send this message for you. It's now time. Some of you are very hard in the heart. You got to pray that God remove the heart of stone and put 